music is a soul thing. It's all about being honest with yourself as well. When I feel down, I think you can pick it up from my playing, man. I can really pick up in people's playing when, when they a bit down over the happy. When I play mu music, bro, I forget about all my debit orders, bro. That's how I feel when I'm on stage. I don't think of anyone else. Like, just being happy, playing my instrument, making people smile, bro. <laughs> That's all. That's how I see music is happy, man. It shouldn't be like complicated, you know, like music is really medicine for, for the soul, like people say. So yeah, it's, it's a happy thing for me. I don't, I don't try to make it too complicated. I don't think too much. I'll play and be happy, make people happy, man. That's it. My name is Carlo Yester and I'm playing with Mikasa and a lot of beautiful artists like Judith Supuma and yeah I'm just sessioning with all these amazing artists. I've just come from tour with um, Saint Eagle, the Yellow Tour, so that was exciting. And that's me, Carlo, Sierra's boy. So my dad, my dad is in, involved in church and I'm basically like a PK. So I play drums first in church and the bass player left the church. So I had to jump as the pastor's kid, jump the bass. And 10 years later, finding myself playing with the cousin. man. <laughs> so yeah, that's where music started. All started with my dad, you know? And obviously like the church surroundings, gospel concerts, that's where it started. And then the guy that introduced me, to this instrument, his name is Boy Basson. He passed away, you know. He's the guy that really introduced me to to bass. He's the guy that really inspired me to play. Cool. I listen to a lot of Steely Dan, bro. <laughs> Funny enough, I love Steely Dan. I don't know the bass plays, but well, the albums I have, I love the bass player. I've listened to Toto a lot as well. So I'm getting into this whole rocky, amazing grooves, you know. I'm getting into that vibe. I'm obviously like a session musician, so I like checking different styles, you know. Different styles, different bass players, sound-wise. That's how I'm learning as well. That's how I learn. So I really enjoy listening to everything. But nowadays, Steely Dan, I'm listening to Toto as well. Also here at home, man. I have a lot of influence, like bass player-wise as well. Fana Zulu is one of the guys. And there's also a guy called Donovan Dyers. Uh, he's in Cape Town. He's one of my biggest inspirations, man. Him and Sammy Weber as well. Really cool guys, cool players. So I really look up to these cats when it comes to playing bass. They really inspired me over the years when I started off. With Jutsu Puma, I love to play Utando. That's a song I composed on the album as well. <laughs> so I love that song. With Mikasa, my favorite song is Feeling You. That's with Mikasa in church. Yo, in church, I love everything, man. I'm a church boy, man. So I love everything, like the African stuff, even like the Israel stuff. I really love it. And then I'm also playing at this church, Unite 180, which is like more like your Bethel music, Planet Seekers. And I, dude, I really learn huh, from these guys. Like the way of playing, the note length, the way they approach the song, like the simplicity, but still complicated, <laughs> you know? I'm learning from the kids. So it's really cool. Huh? So with me, obviously playing with Mikasa the most, right? We don't use a drummer. So most of the gigs, like 99.9% .9 of the gigs, are obviously DJ. So that really, that really helps me with like keeping time. I'm basically the bass player and, and drummer in the band, you know? So it really, so the day when I play with an actual drummer, Trust me, I enjoy it, man, because I, I, I think like that now. Even with my playing as well. Like, I'm all about the percussive playing. Drums plays a big role. But like I said, I started off with drums, so I guess it comes from there, you know? This bass is American Pro. It's Sony Gray. I prefer the Maple fretboard. And yeah, this is my baby, man. I call it Sonic. His name is Sonic. So I like this bass, man. Very versatile, number one. For the styles I'm playing, I'm playing with a lot of different artists in different styles, from like your Beth L music, like I said, to your Judas Puma, where it's like Afro jazz. And trust me, it works, man. It just cuts through the mix like no one's business, man. The other one is my Squire, man. So this is my, yeah, my Squire. It's like a vintage modified. I think it's the best bass for its price, man. Uh, I love it. I play it a lot on that platform, too. For me, I don't see any Dif I won't say difference, but more important one. Like, I love both my bases, man. And I take this one on tour a lot. I can really speak highly of it, man. 
Shout out to Fender, man. My dream base, wow, this is my this is my baby, but then my dream is obviously like to get the elite. I like I like for the past four years, I'm into this whole Pesa vibe, man, and I really love it. I think I wanna get an elite as well. It's obviously like the upgrade active one. More for the gospel stuff, more obviously puns and stuff, you know? But then this I love, for me it feels like natural, the wood, for more like a wood sound. Cool, and then also amps, I'm using, I'm using Agula, you know? My amp is now at the rehearsal venue, that's why I don't have it here, I'm rehearsing. So I'm using a Tone M500, which I think is the best thing in the world, man. What I like about Agula is really the, it's the truth, I call it the truth. If you play a crap bass, you're gonna sound crap. <laughs> if you play a top end bass, you're gonna sound top end. It just tells you the truth. You plug in and you get the sound of your bass, you know? I don't wanna plug in a Fender or whatever other name and it sounds the same. But Angular, it's the same, man. Shout out to Marcel Music also, man, for hooking me up. Dane Marcel and the team there appreciated that. Thank you. 